hello guys uh, welcome back once again to this youtube channel you know if not for our politicians and our you know selfish politicians uh, our politicians who have in the country nigeria could have been one of the best and most peaceful and loving and uh, 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 a fun place to ever stay because the citizens actually love themselves but like i've often said it here in this my uh, youtube channel that our politicians because of their greed they know that you know they can't win any election if they don't use manga or if, if they don't use corny ways to win the election that is why they will find every possible means and every possible way to put uh, uh, the ethnic and the religious division and, and tension within uh, the country so that you know they could actually you know get some votes and win an election now today you could look at the, the video that is actually playing on the screen you could see from that particular video is an Ibu man that is actually you know uh, given and dashing out money to both the Yorubas and the Aosas and people from other ethnic groups you could see how it, you know he chewed them up and you know, he was dashing them money and they, remember there are some lessons to learn from this particular video the man was not asking them where is your state where is your tribe where is your religion he was basically giving that money to people because he understood that there is economic hardship and suffering uh, literally within the country so he decided to help the people by you know uh, giving them money uh, irrespective of their religious belief irrespective of your ethnic group or, the, or their tribe or wherever they come from and you could see that this is coming from the uh, a man who came from a tribe that was you know actually persecuted and marginalized during, throughout the 2023 presidential election remember the apc like i've often said it knew that they cannot win any election in any place what they did was to find a way in, in the southern region what they did was to find a way to put the ethnic tension and they knew that people is from the Igbo tribe and you know what the, what uh, apc simply did and APC, apc bigger simply did was to you know started saying that the Igbos want to take over nigeria they want to you know uh, actualize their biafra they want to do this you know they painted p to be even they called p to be uh, an ipob agitator they called uh, him all sorts of names and even students and they said that Igbos in Lagos should go back to their homes and go back to their country or, or to their states and all that. But look at fast forward to today, 2024, that the same person they were actually disturbing and killing the Igbos or dis destroying the Igbos properties for is the same person that is putting them in poverty, in economic and extreme hardship. And they've been protesting here and there. They've been protesting here and there against the same man that they, 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 they killed and actually you know, intimidated people for. And now the same region or the same tribe that they intimidated during the 2023 presidential election is the same tribe that came back and is now showing love across all the ethnic groups in the country. Imagine doing this and you can see him sharing the 1,000 Naira note. It's not an easy something to do. We have rich men, we have rich people that, you know, don't, they don't even care about the, the economic hardship or the suffering that the masses or probably the people are passing through. Even some of the people from their own tribe, they don't even care. But an Igbo man came out in public in, 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 in Lagos State here and started sharing money in the market, irrespective of your tribe. You could see him. He did not say, are you from this tribe or are you from this tribe? We are not giving you, neither are we giving you. He said, come, if you know that you have economic challenges, come, let me give you the little token I have, even if it's to eat for today. He started giving them 1,000 Naira notes. But during the 23 presidential election, look at what they did to them. Some of them, even their shops, we are actually, you know, uh, 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 destroyed after the election. That San Wolo and the Lagos State Governor, we are claiming that they were actually, you know, doing a lot of things. And, you know, it was later revealed that it, most of the properties that were destroyed belongs to the Igbos. But now the same Igbos are, are the ones giving back to the society, irrespective of whoever it is. Irrespective of whoever it is and this is the truth this is the nigeria we pray for this is the nigeria we want in nigeria whereby we wouldn't allow our politicians to use the ethnic and the re religious sentiments to destroy our nation p2b was the, the one of was the most competent candidate that came out in the 2023 presidential election and people from the yoruba race even supported him even today the most annoying thing and, and the most scary thing that happened in the 2023 presidential election was that the yoruba that supported p2b were actually discriminated and even injured some of them were even told to follow the Igbos and go back to the southeast region some of them you know we are even prevented to vote some of them we are saying that you know you know the yorubas uh, that voted for the uh, for, for p2b don't have sense and all that it's not like these people have this hatred for for themselves no this is what the politicians want because they know that they use the divide and rule system they knew that if these people could come together they know that if nigerians would come together that the power and the force that they are going to exert will be too much that they cannot even contain it so what they do is to keep us in perpetual disunity to keep us in perpetual that perpetual means everlasting disunity and everlasting uh, hatred for each other so that they can be using those that, that opportunity to loot money that is why today you see a criminal that loose that, that looted money or probably did a lot of arasca things and if he is being persecuted you could see the, uh, the people from his tribe shouting that they are trying to persecute his tribe you could see that it is no longer about what the person did it's no longer about the rule of law that are people are, are fighting for their own region people are fighting for their own region we've seen criminals being released 
We've seen people that have done a lot of things in the government, that's done a lot of money. At the end of the day, people from their own tribe will tell them, I release this person. He's our tribesman, you know, release him, release him, irrespective of the evil that he did. And this is what the politicians want because they know that immediately they bring in the tribal sentiments and the religious sentiments, they can go score free uh, from uh, uh, anything or any rascality or any crime they actually committed. I can boldly tell you for free. Just look at what is happening. And this is the love we have in Nigeria. You know, there's nobody that said something. That if Nigerians realize the kind of power and strength they have when they unite together, that these politicians will no longer be in that political position to loot money or misbehave. If Nigerians come together to hold the leaders accountable, that lead, these our leaders in, the, in, in, in Asorok and other political positions will not misbehave. But like I've said before, they know that there is unity, there is strength, and there is power in unity. So they would ensure and do everything humanly possible to, ensure, to, 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 to make sure that that unity is not established so that the Aousas, the Yorubas, and the Igbos cannot come together. This is what the politicians are always doing. They want the Igbos, the Aousas, the Yorubas, and other tribes not to come together in harmony and in, 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 in peace. No, they want to keep us in perpetual disunity and hatred. And this is why... We, we are having poor leaders, and this is why we are having bad leaders. You can imagine what Balame Tinib and APC did. You went to the north. The north has a, a lot of percentage of Christians, despite the fact that Muslims are more there. And again, you went to the north, knowing that you you are a Muslim and you are staying in a most in 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 a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a country that has a mixed religion, predominantly Christians and Muslims. And Tinibu being a Muslim went to the north. Instead of him to understand that he should actually, you know, uh, 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 make it to become equal and, you know, uh, okay, by choosing a Christian from the north. He said, no, because of his political interest, he went and chose a Muslim and ran one of the most uh, uh, useless tickets we have ever seen in the country that has never benefited anybody. And he knew what he did because he knew that the north would actually buy the idea of that tribalism, that the north is going to buy the idea of, you know, the Muslim Muslim ticket. But what is happening now, even the North are the ones protesting, the North are the ones crying these days that the Muslim Muslim ticket that didn't deceive them, that they are not benefiting, not even anything from it, from, from the Muslim Muslim ticket. Now, an Igbo man is actually helping all, uh, all, all, all other people from other tribe, giving them money. Whether you're Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, anybody, just come and he's giving that money, which you could see from the video. Well, I would like to drop a comment and tell me what you think about this uh, recent uh, video that an Igbo man was sharing money to all ethnic groups in Lagos State.